Okay, today we're gonna perform in the B pre trip. So the B pre trip starts on this side of the vehicle. <coughs> from this side of the vehicle, the first thing I'm gonna inspect is my exhaust system. My exhaust system coming from the front all the way to the back. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. This one is securely mounted by the straps and hangers. I'm gonna make sure my exhaust system is not leaking. If it was leaking, I will see a black suit. From there, normally in the test trucks that we have, have the windshield washer reservoir right here. My windshield washer reservoir, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If I need to add a fluid, you guys will find the cap right here. I will add it to the cap. The cap is in the lock position, it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and the rubber seal is not necessarily worn or torn, and it will not leak, and my windshield washer reservoir is on the proper level. With that, we finish this side, and we start working to the other side. On this side, the first thing that we want to expect is this light right here. This light, which is on the side of the truck, okay, in the front, is calling the marker light. I have one on the other side, my marker lights. I'm going to make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're amber in color, the light bulb is amber in color, because it's facing the front of the vehicle and the side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure the representation of my lights is that my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers, and my running lights. That's the purpose of these lights. From there, I will inspect my mirrors. I will touch in this one, and I will touch in this one. That way they know that I'm inspecting the two mirrors. My mirrors, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, and they're securely mounted to the arms. The arms, they're not cracked or broken, and they're securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. From there, I will inspect my door. My door handle is not cracked or broken. My door open and closed properly. My door, you guys are gonna grab it from here. I wanna make sure it's securely mounted by the hinges. This is the hinges, my hinges, they're properly aligned. They're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. This one right here is my inner seal and my outer seal. I wanna make sure it's not ripped or torn and it's a full contact to the vehicle. Now I'm gonna inspect my steps. I'm gonna touch in my steps and I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, they don't missing hardware. They're free of debris, grease, or any other object. For my steps, I will inspect my fuel tank. My fuel tank is not cracked or broken and I'm gonna look under to make sure it's not leaking. My fuel tank is securely mounted by the straps, I have two. My straps, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My fuel tank is not shifting. This one right here is my fuel cap. My fuel cap, I wanna make sure it's on the lock position. I wanna open it to make sure it has the safety chain. My safety chain is present, and the rubber seal for my fuel cap is necessarily worn or torn, and it will not leak. Always make sure you close it all the way. From there, you guys will see this one right here. It's not required in the test truck that we have. We don't, uh, we don't have it. And this is the battery box, okay? It's not required for the DMB. But we wanna come into this part right here. And the first thing we wanna inspect is the cross members on this side of the vehicle. I wanna make sure my cross members, they're not cracked or broken. And they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. The frame on this side of the vehicle, I wanna make sure it's securely mounted, no crack or broken, no missing hardware, no illegal holes or illegal welds on my frame. From the frame, I wanna look at inside, and I wanna talk about this one. This is my drive shaft. My drive shaft, I wanna inspect it, make sure it's no crack or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's securely mounted by U-joints. I have one in the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. My U-joints, I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, and they have a properly grease. For my U-joints to be detailed on my pre-trip, I wanna inspect all the hoses, and you guys touching hoses. I wanna make sure my hoses, there are no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I wanna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I wanna make sure there's no exposed wire, no free wire, properly router, securely mounted, no missing hardware. From there, you guys wanna turn into this side, and in the test truck we have right here, we call it the splash guard. This is in the back, like that one, it's a mat flat, okay? But you have it in the front, it's a splash guard. 
A splash guard is, is normally is a plastic, so we want to inspect it. It's not cracked or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's securely mounted to my frame. Proper distance to my tire and proper distance to the ground. From the splash guard, I will start inspecting from the inside to the outside. The first thing I see the inside is my dual brake chamber. My dual brake chamber, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken or leaking and it's securely mounted and it's securely mounted by the clamps. I have one here and one in here. My two clamps for my brake chamber, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken or leaking and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. The hoses for my brake chamber, and make sure you guys touch in the hoses. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts or leaks and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. You guys will not see it, but always behind the brake chamber is gonna be the push rod and the slack adjuster. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted by the pin and color pin. If I pull on it, it should be no more than one inch of the plate when my brakes are released. From there, we finish the inside part, so we start coming towards to the tire. So the first thing we wanna inspect is this one right here. This is a leaf spring hanger or leaf spring mounts. I have one here and I have one in the back. I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in here is my leaf spring bushing. I wanna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. These ones right here, this is my leaf springs. My leaf springs, I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken or shifting and they're securely mounted. And they're securely mounted by, you guys will see it here, two U-balls, shim, spacers and four nuts okay this is the bolt u-bolt shim spacers right here in the middle and the four nuts in the bottom okay from there we want to inspect the tire if you guys look in here the first thing that you guys want to inspect is going to be the axle seal so you guys going to point it right here in the middle my ax inside axle seal and my outside axle seal I wanna make sure it's not cracked or broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If my axle seal was leaking, I will see paddle or spin trail. If my axle seal was leaking, I can take it to the mechanic or a shop. I could not service myself. From there, you guys gonna come in inside again. And then, you guys gonna start inspecting. You guys inspect it from the center to the outside. First thing you guys gonna inspect is these ones right here. This is my brake liners. My brake liners, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're not allowed to have less than one quarter of an inch from the thinnest point. This one right here, next to my brake liners, is gonna be my brake drum. My brake drum is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. I'm gonna mention that my brake drum doesn't have any sign of decoloration indicating the overheating problem. Between my brake liners and my brake drum, free of debris, grease, or any other contamination. From there, because it's the two tires, we have two rims. We call them the bad rims. So we're gonna start inspecting the rims. My inside rim, my outside rim, my inside rim, and my outside rim. I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted. They're securely mounted by the lug nuts. All my lug nuts, make sure you guys touching all the lug nuts. They're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted. No missing, no missing anyone. If there was loose, I will see rusty and any of my lug nuts in this metal rim. If it was aluminum rim, I will see a shiny metal. I wanna mention that all in my, my two rims, it doesn't have any legal holes or legal wells. And then, you guys gonna be right here, right in the middle, and you guys gonna mention, in between my two rims, it's no daylight, and it's a full contact. Now, we wanna inspect two tires, okay? We wanna mention my inside tire, the outside tire, my inside tire, and the outside of my tire, and the face, on my two tires. I wanna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks. I wanna mention them between my two tires, free of debris or any other object. Now, we wanna be specific on the tires, okay? These tires right here, this is a dry tires. I wanna make sure they're not allowed to be, re they're allowed, they're allowed to be regrouped, recap, or retread but they're not allowed to have less than 230 seconds of the deepest point. The air specification on my two tires is 120 PSI, or I will check the manufacturer specification. To check the air, I will do it through the ball stamps. I have one here and one on the other side. My ball stamps, I wanna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My ball stamp cap is on the lock position. It's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted and it's not leaking. Any of my valve stamps, they're not leaking. Okay, from there, 
especially in the test truck. Right in this area right here, right in this where I'm gonna point it, is gonna be a shack absorber and the shack absorber mounts. The way to inspect them, my shack absorber, my shack absorber mounts, they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, and my shack absorber is not leaking. And then right in the back, right in this position right here, you guys will find airbag and airbag mounts. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. And you guys will touch in the airbag, my airbag. It's vibrations, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and it's securely mounted. From there, we're gonna come into the inside. And the first thing that we're gonna inspect is, you guys see this one right here? On the top of that one? And the test truck, we call it the torque cam. You guys will see it, a torque cam. My torque cam is not cracked or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. From there, we're gonna come into here, and we're gonna inspect this one, and we will inspect this one. This is the cross members of, my, of the back of my truck. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, doesn't have any legal holes or legal wells. The frame, and you guys touching the frame on this side of the vehicle, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it doesn't have any legal holes or legal wells. To be detailed on my pre-trip, all the hoses on this side of the vehicle, I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I wanna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no frayed wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. From there, you guys wanna inspect in the lights. The lights on this side of the vehicle, they're red in color because they face in the back. The function of my lights on the back is my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four-wheel flashers, and my running lights, and my brake lights. The clear light, it represents my reverse. The light right here is my license plate light. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. From there, you guys wanna come in outside again. And then you guys will say it, between my landing gear and my vehicle is a proper distance to perform a 90 degree turn. From there, this concludes my BP trip and then I will start inspecting my coupling and then you guys will inspect the couplings. This is my emergency line, this is my service line. I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cats or leaves. They're securely mounted to the truck and they're securely mounted to the trailer. When you guys say securely mounted to the trailer, you guys wanna grab it like this. This is my glass hand and my glass hand receivers. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken. They're securely mounted, no missing hardware. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. This one right here, it's my electrical cord, my electrical cord. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted to the tractor and securely mounted to the trailer. My electrical cord is properly routed, no exposed wire, no freight wire, and no black tape. This is only in this section right here. I'm gonna mention that my hoses and my wire, they don't tangle in the proper distance to the frame or to the catwalk. This is the catwalk. If you don't have a catwalk to my frame. From there, we're gonna go under and we're gonna inspect the apron. This is the apron of my trailer. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. This one is welded, so I'm gonna inspect the weld. It's not cracked, welding, no miss welding. This one right here, this is the fifth wheel. My fifth wheel is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. I'm gonna mention that between my apron and my fifth wheel, it's not daylight and it's properly greased. Now I'm gonna inspect my fifth wheel lever. It's on the lock position. It's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My fifth wheel is securely mounted to the platform by the pin and cutter pin. This one is bolted, but on the test truck is the pin and cutter pin. My platform, I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted to the frame of the vehicle. This one is bolted, so I'm gonna inspect all the bolts. I'm gonna make sure no, uh, any of the bolts are uh, missing and they're all on the tight position. They're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted. From here, you guys are gonna go under the trailer again. And then this time, we're just gonna put ourselves right here, right in front, and we wanna point it right, right in there. That is the kingpin. My kingpin is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted and it's on the lock position. This one right here, this is my locking jaw. My locking jaw is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the lock position around the shank of the kingpin. Mention that, you guys are gonna come in outside and you guys will say, this concludes my brief retrieve. He's at work right now.